By 1943, the Pacific Theater was in full swing, with the Allies forcefully attempting to take over the prized islands occupied by the relentless Japanese Empire. Using the obtained experience during the war and learning from their mistakes, the Japanese Air Force officials sought to build one last aircraft that could help them turn the tide of the war in their favor. Enter the Nakajima Ki-84 Hayate. Widely considered the finest Japanese fighter to operate in large numbers during the long conflict, this single-engine aircraft would leave a strong mark with the 11th Sentai Air Group by coming face-to-face -face with the North American Mustangs and having enough firepower to take down the iconic Boeing B-29 Superfortresses. The fast and versatile model quickly gained a reputation as a combat aircraft to be reckoned with, taking the United States Army Air Forces entirely by surprise. The Gale In early 1942, just as the Nakajima Ki-43 Hayabusa tactical fighter was entering service with the Imperial Japanese Army Air Service, the nation's war planners began looking for its replacement. Nakajima engineers mapped out a new aircraft plan, recognizing a need to combine the Hayabusa's maneuverability with improved firepower and performance to match the best Western fighters. The result was the Ki-84 Hayate. A single-seat fighter, the Hayate, Japanese for Gale, was a cantilever low-wing monoplane with a slender and conventional-looking fuselage. A scarcity of aluminum plagued Japan at the time, and the earliest models were made of metal. However, the Ki-84's rear and other components were built with wood covered with a thick coat of lacquer. The Hayate's cockpit provided excellent visibility, and the windshield used armored glass for pilot protection. Powered by a single 1800 horsepower fuel-injected Homare HA-45 radial engine, its motor was the equivalent of the American-made Pratt & Whitney R2800 engine. The Ki-84 could reach a maximum speed of 387 miles per hour and almost 500 when diving. With an endurance of 1.5 hours and a range of 250 miles, the Hayate could climb 16,405 feet in 6 minutes 26 seconds, and it was considered an easy plane to fly making it ideal for training. As for its armament, the fighter had two fuselage-mounted synchronized machine guns and two wing-mounted cannons, an improvement over the two smaller machines of its predecessor. In addition, its defensive armor offered Hayate pilots more protection, as the Ki-84 used a 2.56-inch armored glass canopy, 0.51 inches of head and back armor, and multiple bulkheads in the fuselage. Such heavy armor also shielded the fuel and methanol water tanks used for emergency power in case of an attack. Deliveries of the Ki-84 from Nakajima's Ota factory began one month after its inaugural flight in March of 1943. Even so, Japan's newest fighter didn't enter combat in China with the 22nd Air Regiment until late the following year. Ultimately, the aircraft's total production would surpass 3,500. The 11th's New Fighters As the aircraft rolled out of the factories, the type began arriving at the Tokorozawa Airport, located 30 miles from Tokyo. Initially built in 1911, the facilities were used by the Japanese Empire in both world wars. The historic airport was the headquarters of the Army Aviation Research and Development Center of the Imperial Japanese Army Air Force as well as the home to a technical and logistics center where Sentai air groups were sent to adjust to new aircraft types, train with them, and get ready for battle. One of them was the 11th Sentai, one of Japan's oldest and most distinguished air groups. With some of the most experienced pilots in its ranks, the 11th Sentai operated in the China-Burma-India theater between the summer of 1942 and the spring of 1944, fighting against the Allies in the skies above the prized Solomon Islands. The unit had been ordered to withdraw back to Japan for re-equipment and reorganization a few months earlier, and the plan was to switch from their Ki-43-2 Hayabusa's to Ki-84's. Soon after arriving at the Tokorozawa airfield, most of the most experienced pilots were transferred to other units, 
this time appointed as squadron commanders. Some became aerial combat instructors, while others were too ill or exhausted to continue fighting. By the summer, only the core of the 11th Sentai's cadre remained at the base, supplemented with hastily trained rookies. For the novices of the 11th Sentai Air Group, the transition to the Hayate was not easy. And to make matters worse, the Koku Hombu, the air headquarters of the Imperial Army, did not know where and how to use the reorganized unit. After discussions with the Japanese Homeland Air Defense, the team was sent to Formosa, or modern-day Taiwan, and the 11th would be moved once again when the American invasion of the Japanese-occupied Philippines kicked off in October. Shake-up Early that month, 40 Hayates from the 11th Sentai, marked with a red lightning bolt, departed Japan under the command of Major Yoshihiro Kanaya. However, several KI-84s had to return to base because of technical reasons, and another two disappeared while flying over the ocean. Only about 30 Hayate fighters made it to Yilan Airport in Taiwan. During the planning of the invasion of the Philippines, U.S. intelligence determined that between the Philippines, Taiwan, Okinawa, and southern Kyushu bases, Japan had a force of 1,200 aircraft, including the Ki-84, referred to as Frank in the West. To neutralize these massive forces, the United States Navy sent Task Force 38. With dozens of vessels of many kinds, the American party boasted nearly a thousand aircraft. On October 12th, the task force, aided by a B-29 formation attack from China, crashed down on the Japanese. Meanwhile, the 11th Sentai was kept in reserves, and was sent into combat only during the final phase of the battle against Allied aircraft retreating to their floating airfield. Soon, a brutal clash between a considerable force of F-6F Hellcats and 25 Hayates ensued, while the Americans suffered significant losses, including three fighters and three pilots. The price the Japanese paid was costly. Six Ki-84s were taken down, and two more had to desert the battle after being hit. Most of the remaining fighters were damaged beyond control, presenting a severe problem due to a lack of spare parts. Following such dire results, the command of the 11th Sentai was assumed by Captain Yuji Mizuguchi. Last One Standing Even as the initial results of the Ki-84s had exceeded all expectations, catching the American Army Air Force's pilots entirely off guard, and being particularly strong at intercepting high-flying B-29 Superfortress bombers, the aircraft started showing signs of weaknesses as the fight against the Allies got increasingly desperate. By late 1944, growing difficulties in securing skilled pilots and getting proper fuel and adequate construction materials often prevented it from reaching its full potential. On October 20th, the United States 6th Army began landing on Leyte, and two days later, the 11th Sentai engaged them. However, the group's fighters were no longer the vital force that had left Japan two weeks before, and their first combat mission over the archipelago was a failure. Soon after, the Ki-84s were tasked with defending critical areas near Manila, while naval air forces were engaged in the battle for Leyte Gulf. The Hayates then encountered several P-838 Lightning and P-47 Thunderbolts, losing three more aircraft. As November approached, the group only had three combat-worthy fighters and was thus reinforced by the first Sentai. They touched down on Clark Field in the Philippines, but only half of the 40 Hayates that took off from Japan made it. Consequently, they were sent to the nearby and much less exposed Porak airfield. By mid-December, the group was sent on a mission against the Allied-occupied port and airfield of San Jose on the island of Mindoro. The fight proved to be one of the last major wins for the Japanese Ki-84s, as the 11th lost no aircraft, while one sunk a troop transport and seriously damaged another. Ultimately, avoiding the massive Allied bombing campaign became impossible, and the resources were scarce, significantly affecting the Hayate's production. By January 9, 1945, the 11th Sentai did not have any combat-worthy Ki-84s left. Hayate 1446 
In early March 1945, the last remaining survivors of the 11th Sentai arrived at Takahagi on the Kanto Plain in Japan. While the original plans called for the once elite unit to be rebuilt, most aircraft and their young pilots were soon sent to kamikaze units to provide support in the last days of the Battle of Okinawa. That would be the final nail in the coffin for the 11th, and the once famous Sentai never flew again. Following the Japanese surrender in the summer of 1945, the Allied soldiers found a damaged and abandoned Hayate on the outskirts of Clark Field. Marked with the number 46, the model was taken by the Americans and transported to the United States. For decades, the model bounced from owner to owner until it was restored to flying condition and returned to Japan in 1973. However, neglect and stolen parts would prevent it from flying again, and in 1991, the only surviving KI-84 of World War II was transferred to the Tokoheiwa Kinenkan Museum, Kagoshima Prefecture, where it is still displayed. In the end, the Nakajima KI-84 single-seat fighter is remembered as one of the best Japanese fighters to operate during World War II, matching the Allied forces like no other. However, the type entered the conflict far too late in the game to make any significant impact on the outcome of the war. Thank you for watching Dark Skies. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to find more exciting historical content. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be the first to know about our new videos. Stay tuned.